Hi, Mario Blandini here with Drobo to show you just how quick and easy it is to set up a Drobo for your home or for your office. With Drobo, we accept any three and a half inch SATA hard drive, and we don't require any special tools or drive carriers to put it into a Drobo. It's as simple as taking it in to the any available slot and uh, popping it in there and you're going to be ready to use it. I've already installed a couple of other discs just like that. And the experiment I'm going to show you here is whether or not I can get my Drobo up and running as fast as it takes me to toast a bagel. Let's check it out. I'm going to go ahead and put the front cover on and power it up. And automatically, in the background, Drobo is going to go take care of all of the storage management functions, setting up the RAID, formatting it, and getting my storage available to share on my network all automatically. Let's go ahead and pop in a bagel here. Get that toasting to see how quick uh, and easy it is to do a Drobo. I also have here in my, uh, my example a traditional RAID array. Now, with a lot of traditional RAID arrays, they require you to put the drive into a drive carrier, much like this one. So I'll go ahead and start doing that. I've put three of them in there already, just the way I had with the Drobo. And I need a screwdriver. I mean, you probably have one of these laying around. But nonetheless, I have to go through and put this in. Not that hard, but uh, certainly time consuming. Hey, in today's society, time's everything. People love saving time. They want to get access to their stuff immediately. So I'll continue to screw those things in there. Meanwhile, my toast is toasting. We've got the bagel going there. And Drobo's at work formatting the drives in the system, getting them ready for to use uh, as if you took it right out of the box and started using it. Got three more screws to go in here. And I can tell you that with a Drobo, you can use any sized hard drives, any speed manufacturer, uh, firmware, anything, and Drobo manages that. With traditional RAID, it's not often the case. You have a lowest common denominator effect where you'd have to use all the same size drives. Or uh, if you were with some RAID devices able to mix and match the sizes, there's a lot of manual configuration required there, and you have to know exactly what you're doing. So I get the last screw put in here. And I'll get this installed into the traditional RAID. Now, I can smell the toast. It's smelling uh, nice and toasty there, but it's not quite done yet. You'll see, though, that I do have green lights on the Drobo, and uh, it's finished with its uh, formatting, and I'm about ready to use it. As we see the Drobo and Drobo dashboard, it's finishing the installation process, and it's going to you know, uh, continue working in the background to get my data ready. My toast is still working here, and I'll show you with traditional RAID that uh, you can start a setup process. Uh, there's my toast here. Not too dark at all, just the way I like it. And we'll give it another second here with Drobo Dashboard while it finishes the installation. There you go. Let me take a bite of my lunch. If I go to my computer and look at my network, the Drobo FS is there. What I expect to see is the Storage will be available to this computer, and I can start using it to copy files, make backups, stream movies, whatever it is that I want to do. You'll see the public share is there, and I can start to put information on the Drobo. So in this case, I'm copying a little bit of an overview movie over to the Drobo right now. How fast was that? I popped in discs brand new out of the box, and in the time it took me to toast a bagel and take my first bite, I'm up and running on storage. Let's go ahead and double click that to make sure that I know it's playing. And there you go. A video is now streaming off of my Drobo in a matter of minutes. Now, if I were traditional RAID, I would launch that particular application. You'll see here that upon launching it, it gives me the chance to go ahead and do some setup. So let me double click on that. It's now asking me, I have to install some additional software. Now, uh, with this particular device, I would install the additional software, and I would then install with a disk, choose the RAID type that I'd want. I'd have to format that as well. In some cases, with a quick format with traditional RAID, it could take, let's say, uh, 20 minutes, or even all day if you do a full scan and a full format of the storage. But really, the most important thing is you have to know exactly what you want. It doesn't do it automatically. You have to pick which RAID levels that you want, and after doing so, wait to go ahead and get it set up. So 
If this were a traditional raid, I would enjoy this bagel and come back and enjoy lunch uh, and dinner later on today before I really have access to my storage. With Drobo, I'm ready to use it in about the time it takes me to toast a bagel. As I showed you here, it doesn't get any easier or faster to set up storage than it does with Drobo. So if you're looking for the best storage experience ever, Drobo's a great product for you.